it appears that a B&M dive coaster that is only 15 years old is about to become defunct. I'm going to tell you what this means and why I think some parks here in America might keep this on the radar to potentially buy it and reopen it at their park. This B&M dive coaster, simply called Dive Coaster, opened in 2008 and is only 4 feet shorter than Sheikra at Busch Gardens Tampa. Now here is an aerial view for you to kind of compare the layouts and this layout is very much like Sheikra's, with a few little differences, but regardless, this roller coaster has a much longer life to it than just 15 years. So. If the park decides to scrap it, then obviously we'll never be able to ride this again. However, I don't think that's the case because this is definitely a major coaster and the park can get some money from it. Now what's interesting is the article stated that this roller coaster is getting removed for like residential reasons. But if you look at where it's at the park, I don't really see any homes being built in this specific area. So is the whole park closing? I mean, that's my, that's my guess at this point. I did some research and I, didn't spend a crazy amount of time on it, but I couldn't see anywhere saying that Chime Long Paradise is closing forever. However, if it is, then watch out. Because the park offers a 10 inversion Intamin coaster plus a Premier Skyrocket 2. So when you pair that along with the dive coaster, we are talking about three steel coasters that are all major coasters that are easy to relocate to a different park. Now, since Chime Long Paradise is a part of a theme park chain over in Asia, it could very well get moved to a different park within the chain. So let's not forget about that. But it's fun to speculate at least just in case the company wants to sell some of these rides to other parks that are not in their chain. But here's the question, which parks out there would benefit from a ride like this? Now, here in America, wouldn't this dive coaster work great at Six Flags Magic Mountain? Now, obviously the park would have to have enough space for this size of ride and the terrain to fit the current layout, but who knows? I think Magic Mountain building a major dive coaster like this and marketing it as the biggest, tallest, and fastest dive coaster on the West Coast is a genius idea. But skipping over to Cedar Fair, wouldn't this work great at Carowinds? I mean, after all, Carowinds has plenty of room to work with when you look at the area that Rip Roaring Rapids and the Palladium takes up. And we all know that Carowinds could use a B&M dive coaster, even if it's not the coaster that I want for the park. But a ride like this at Carowinds, again, would be huge and do great things for the park. And again, this coaster is only 15 years old. So you're talking this ride probably has another 20 plus years of life left. And traveling up to Ohio for Kings Island, again, another park that could benefit from a B&M dive coaster. And there's been a lot of rumors about that type of ride coming to the park. This dive coaster could definitely fit in the vortex plot of land. Just saying, I don't think it should go there, but it could. You never know, and that's the beauty of it. Now here's a wild card park for you. What about SeaWorld San Antonio? We know that they do not have a dive coaster, and even with Fiesta already offering their B&M dive coaster cliffhanger, it would not surprise me at all if SeaWorld would build a dive coaster at their San Antonio park, even if it's only 15 minutes away. And here is why. The parks do it all the time. Both of these parks offer the exact same B&M inverted roller coaster layout, except they're mirrored. So again, I really don't see that park really getting it, but I'm saying there could be potential for it to come there. And while I'm thinking about it, I have one more wild card for you. What about Adventureland in Iowa? We already know that this park is stacked with great roller coasters and is getting a brand new log flume slash new coaster coming in 2023. But this park also just announced that the Rapids ride's getting removed completely and this frees up a massive plot of land. And just think, if Adventureland would buy this massive B&M dive coaster, then they can market it as the Midwest only dive coaster and really put this park on the map even more so than it already is. This park is a must visit park. I highly doubt again this is going to happen. I really think like Carowinds, Magic Mountain, potentially Kings Island could be the, you know, the front runners here of parks in America that could make running for this, but you never know. In the end, while this is sad news, I feel like the future of these rides is even more exciting because again, I do not see them getting scrapped. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And as always, remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.